What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Matty J, aka SK All Day. What's happening, people? How's everybody doing? This wonderful Tuesday afternoon, well, evening, I guess you can say, whenever you guys are watching this video, It'll probably be up Wednesday, California time. But, uh, yeah, start off the match by getting smacked. I'm stuck! Stuck! <laughs> Shout out to El Prez, man. He. El Prezador, if you guys don't know him, most of you guys probably already do. He keeps me beyond entertained while I'm at work, bored out of my mind. I mean, his. His commentary, let's just say his he's not known for his gameplay, so obviously. If you guys have watched him, he just doesn't put up B scores or anything like that. But his commentaries are so hilarious. I mean, he... If you want to ever see a guy rage, if you ever think that I rage a lot, you know, sometimes you guys, uh, maybe I'll do like a live com here in the near future, but you, if you guys are subscribed to Oz and uh, you've heard it, heard my voice in the background of his videos and stuff like that, raging or complaining or something like that, go watch El Prez. He, he is the, he is Mr. Rage himself. I used to call myself Mr. Rage back in the Black Ops days because I used to yell and scream and I, just, I sounded like a little girl. It, it was bad, you know. I sounded like a little five-year-old kid at Kmart complaining but uh i've gotten better you know i'm still trying to work on it but uh i'm getting a little bit better at it but uh how's everybody's april fools i know it was april 1st the other day a lot of people were putting out videos of uh you know different pranks this is my last video on youtube and all that good stuff i mean which is cool i don't mind it you know i guess i, f I don't know i guess i feel like i'm kind of kind of old for that now you know i may do like a little baby prank or something like that every once in a while but you know uh the thing is with with comes to April Fools and with me I don't really prank too many people that much anymore because there's this uh, one time uh, this is back when I was in college I had just got my brand new car uh, it's a Nissan Altima it's back in 2006 it's my freshman year of college and got the new car I was feeling good you know it was all nice and fresh man heading back from spring break out to uh, back up to Idaho and uh, I get into uh, a car accident but that's not, you know, that's not the highlight of the story. What it is was I told my mother on April Fool's that, hey, mom, I just got in a car accident. Duh, duh, duh. You know, it was one of those situations. And guys, kids, don't ever tell your parents that you ever got in a car accident because they will flip out like no other. My mother flipped. She said, I'm packing my bags right now. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> I mean, at the same, it, it was funny, but at the same time, I felt kind of bad because I mean, she really was like freaking out. And I told her, you know, oh, mom, April Fools, I was just kidding, you know, I'm sorry. And you know, don't don't mess with me like that, boy. What the hell's wrong with you? You know, it's one of those situations. You know, you get a little ridicule, uh, ridicule from your parents. But um, but the messed up part was is I the when I got into my car accident, it was literally two days after April Fool's so it was April 3rd I told my mom jokingly that I got into a car accident and then I actually did two days later and uh, it wasn't like a big accident I had like was going up this hill and I hit gravel on the road if you guys don't know what gravel is uh, it's like you know it's like loose uh, cement or concrete you know it's like loose pavement and I skidded and I landed in somebody's yard and actually like hit like a small tree <laughs> and uh, yeah it was pretty bad it, it was funny but at the same time, it kind of sucked. But, uh, so, I called my mom, and I was like, oh, mom, you know, I kind of got into an accident. I mean, it wasn't, technically, it's not called an accident, you know, it was just a little minor incident. Or, not, you know, nobody was hurt or anything like that. It was like, I mean, it was like a little baby, like, like tree branch tree. Like, it wasn't like a big, like, you know, redwood or something like that out in the middle of the forest. But, uh. I told my mom, I was like, yeah, mom, I hit something. She's like, yeah, whatever, boy. I don't believe nothing you said. Tell me no more. So <laughs> be sure that when you play a joke on your parents or anything like that, make sure it's nothing too drastic to where they won't believe you later on in the future. But um, this gameplay right here, as you guys can see, I'm running around the P90. I'm using the extended mags and uh, the suppressor attachment, and I am using specialists, of course. Uh, I was actually... Um, I forget what prestige I was. I think this was 14th. As you guys already know, I maxed out my prestige. Uh, I am 15th prestige, level 80. And um, I'm going to start working on the Gold Gun series again for you guys. Um, let me know in the comment section. I know that they're going to come out with more levels all the, all the way up to 20, I guess. But I don't know if I want to go to 20. There's nothing that I can spend my prestige tokens on anymore, really. I have all custom classes, all 10 of them. And I have uh, the, it's like, what is it called? The Harden Package and the whatever the veteran package I forget what it's called but the little package it gives you just titles and emblem or something like that I already have those two so I mean I really don't know what to spend my prestige token on I mean 
there's the XP and whatnot, but I mean, double XP, I mean, it really doesn't affect you in this game. Like, a lot of people think that it does, but honestly, like, you play, let's say, Domination. You play maybe five matches or something like that, depending on the length. I mean, your couple hours of, uh, of a double XP are pretty much already almost gone so I mean there's nothing else to spend them on I think I'll just work on my gold gun series for you guys so I can just keep all the attachments you know keep the nice you know gold camo for you guys because I haven't really put up any gold camo gameplays yet I still have a uh, game saved on my hard drive for the uh, gold uh, for the gold gun series or whatnot but those will be coming out on a later day I'm not a too uh, too sure exactly when those will be coming out but I'll get them out to you guys pretty soon but um for future videos, uh, if you guys want to see something in particular, like I said, feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, stuff that gets voted to the top uh, is obviously a lot easier for me to see, but I know that's not always the case. I do read all my comments, you guys. I check, I check them out daily. I receive uh, all your guys' messages and stuff like that while I'm at work. You know, when I'm on my cell phone. So uh, let me know in the comment section what it is that you guys primarily want to see. If you want to see more rushing gameplays like this, I know this is a smaller map. But it still is considered technically rushing, and my aim was horrible right here. Watch as I try to shoot this guy through the window. I don't know how. I shot this dude like 50 times, and then of course he drops in the final stand. But I ain't gonna talk about final stand. You guys already know how I feel about death streaks in this game. But um, anyways, I, I felt that this was a pretty good gameplay. I died. Uh, I think I was on like a 14 streak or something like that when uh, the match first started, and I got sniped. As you guys had saw earlier in the video, oh my gosh! So another another guy laying down in the spawn. You have to pick up the Moab streak right there. And yes, you guys, I made sure that when I got my Moab, I was able to do my victory spin. <laughs> you gotta love the victory spin, man. I don't know why I do it. It's just something that I do. Everybody has a little signature thing. I do the victory spin for some odd reason. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said, feel free to let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you want to see for the future. Uh, and it's greatly appreciated. Also, follow me on Twitter uh, and Facebook for updates, things like that and whatnot for uh, future videos and things to come uh, with commentaries. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Man, it's your boy SK. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.